what do you make of that Colts and Broncos game that took place last night? That was that was horrible. As a Colts fan, obviously I'm fanly invested, and fanly is not even a word. So I mean, I'm invested as a fan. Um, as a football fan, that was atrocious. That was very boring. And as a defensive fan, as somebody who likes to watch defensive matchups. Eh, I can't even say that it was a defensive showdown because both offenses just looked completely clueless. Um, both defenses looked better than what they should have, but I mean, there were so many missed opportunities on both sides here. I mean, Denver overthrew a couple of open receivers. Indianapolis had a couple of open receivers but didn't have the time to because of their offensive line play. Um, turnovers were an issue. Both teams were unable to run the football. I mean, it just... Obviously, later in the game, holes opened up. Overtime happened. There were a, a good amount of plays where, you know, there were some padded stats. But if you look at the totality of the game, um, it was just a mess from the very beginning. I mean, Naeem Hines dropped the very first pass of the game. Two plays later, if not a play later, he gets knocked out of the game with a concussion. We potentially lose Quiddy Pay for the year with what looked to be an Achilles injury. In my personal opinion, he went down and grabbed his calf, couldn't walk off his own, off of his own strength, so he had to be carted off of the field. I mean, it just, it looked bad. It just, it looked bad for both parties. Um, I, if So check this out. Kyle gave the percentages. I'm going to actually laugh really quick. I don't know how I memorize this. Amazon paid, I believe, 13.1, if not $13.2 billion over the next 11 years to host Thursday Night Football, like through the whole Amazon process, right? Which evens out to about, I believe, $1.18 billion per NFL game because there's 15 per football season. games. Well, per season, excuse me. Um, there's 15 Thursday night football games. Uh, this game cost them $78 million. This game was worth three quarters of a $100 million. Let that sink in. The, the, as a, again, as a Colts fan, this three, four hours of my life, I'll never get back. I, I mean, for me, like just the game itself between the Broncos and the Colts, it's the worst game that I've ever witnessed. And granted, Kev, we've seen some stinkers throughout Snooze our times. Fans. I mean, there have been some really bad games. I mean, I remember the the Super Bowl when the Patriots played the Rams a couple of years back in Super Bowl 53. That game was a snooze fest. It was 13-3. to Granted, there was a touchdown scored, but it was a defensive battle similar to this one. But I know you focused a lot with the Colts, and I'm going to kind of focus on Denver here because the way that Denver looks right now, it's atrocious. Bad. And they invested so much money into Russell Wilson and to rebuild that offense. There may be some fans possibly looking at, like, would Drew Locke have been worse? Because I don't know how Denver looks this bad. Like, this is insane how bad they look. Because I remember Shannon Sharp was talking about this uh, throughout the game. And he was of the mindset, and I could kind of understand where he's coming from is that the Broncos got a lemon with Russell Wilson. And I, so far, I don't think he's that off the mark because I mean, looking back at this game, it's really been just a microcosm of what the Broncos offense has been the entire year. And it just seems like they can't get into any sort of rhythm with Russell at the helm. Now, I don't know if it's Russell. I don't know if it's, if it's Hackett with the play calling it could be just a mixture of all those things combining together. The offensive line is definitely banged up and it didn't get any better. Um, based off of that Colts game, there were a couple offensive linemen that got hurt with Denver last night. So overall, it, it just seems like Denver's in a really tough spot here. But even despite that, there was an opportunity for the Broncos to win that game with about two and a half to three minutes left in the game. And Russell throws an interception towards Stephon Gilmore and ends up being a touchback. I mean, at this point, your defense has been playing so well against the Colts. The worst thing that you could do in that situation is throw an interception, and that's exactly what he did. Because more than likely, Denver was going to at least get three points, and had Russell made a better decision, it's probably going to end up being a touchdown. So, or at least a first down. You know, if they got a touchdown later on, you know, so be it. But it seemed like the Broncos had that game in hand and Russell just threw the game away. And when it came to overtime, I got to give the Colts credit. They took advantage of the situation. Uh, they were able to get a field goal, uh, that first possession of overtime. And 
it looked like Denver was on essentially a game winning drive or at least a game tying drive. And then once again, their drive stalled out in the red zone. And it's really been a major point of concern with the Broncos offense this year is that they just can't capitalize in the red zone. No matter how far they get into the red zone, they just can't capitalize and get touchdowns on the board. And the same thing happened. They go for it on fourth and one and Stephon Gilmore blocks the pass and the game's over. It was one of those games where if you walk away from it, granted, albeit an ugly game, you just look towards it as, you know, one of those games in the past that hopefully you could build off of to build some sort of momentum. But if you're Denver, you can't look at that this way because you lost a game where there were no touchdowns scored. Your defense played absolutely stellar the entire game and your offense was essentially a no-show. I think that, you know, when it comes to Russell Wilson and how long he's going to be with Denver, I mean, there are fans that probably want him gone already. And we're only five games into the season. Fans were leaving the stadium before overtime even started. They had enough of it. And honestly, from what I saw in that game, I don't blame them. It was a waste of time. It was a waste of their money. And when it comes to Amazon Prime, because they're the one that broadcasted this game, I wouldn't be surprised if they walk into those NFL executive offices and they're like, what are you guys doing? This is atrocious. Now, granted, I know Amazon probably signed up, you know, with these games in mind, but the fact that the NFL put this on Thursday night football and the way that these teams played was absolutely disgraceful. And it's just an embarrassment as far as I'm concerned. I understand the Colts won this game. I don't think it's anything to be proud of. You walk away with a dub. That's pretty much it. Because as far as I'm concerned, Colts won, but everybody else lost because it was just a waste of time. And I don't know how the Broncos are going to be able to redeem themselves after that. That was a dreadful performance uh, from their perspective. So all in all, it was a complete waste of time. And if you're Amazon Prime, you may have to second guess that deal with the NFL because it's not necessarily looking good right now.